Hey, what are you doing? Simon, today is the one year anniversary of my divorce from Vicky, and I am officially purging myself of everything that reminds me of her. Here we go. Gift shop, Grand Canyon Airport, second anniversary. Adios. Wait a second, you can't get rid of the smiling rattlesnake mug. I love this thing. Sorry, a new Vicky, it must die. Well, wait, wait, what about this waffle iron? This waffle iron never hurt anybody. It's lousy with Vicky cooties. Well, this, this cool neck brace here. Come on, you oh. put it on any T-shirt, you get an instant turtleneck. That is an extra bad memory. She purposely never fixed the stairs to the basement. She liked hearing me fall. Oh, well, good for you, Carl. You're getting rid of all this stuff. Moving on. Wagons ho. Lose those love handles. It's time for a liposuction. Hey, everybody, the new Carls are in. Drive one home today, huh? <laughs> So, uh, where are you gonna store all this stuff? Well, I was thinking of, uh, storing it in the dumpster until Friday when it'll move to its permanent residence, a landfill in New Jersey. <laughs> now, well, wait a second, Carl. You don't have to throw all this stuff away. I know someone who'll take it off your hands for you. Well, that's fine. I don't care who has it, just as so long as it's not me. Okay, good. Thanks, Carl. Oh, it's waffle time, my friends. <laughs> yeah! Something smells delicious. Yes, it does. I'm cooking a nice romantic dinner for me and Peggy. Oh. Uh, tonight is your bowling night, right? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm just going to get my ball, put on my Pin Pals bowling shirt, and do my ritualistic dance to Uncle Larry, Himple Family Bowling Champion. <laughs> Larry, 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 Larry. Hey, hey. Tonight might go a little late, so after bowling, you might want to take the guys out for a uh, camping trip. Oh, maybe I'll just stay at Vicky's house. What Vicky? Vicky, Vicky, your ex-wife, remember? Why on earth would you be staying at my ex-wife's house? Well, because she turned your old office into such a nice guest bedroom. And uh, hey. where did you think I stayed when I come home and I see you put the sock on the doorknob? Well, I, I thought you stayed at one of your bowling friends. She is my bowling friend, and she's on the team. Isn't that cute? My brother and my ex-wife are little bowling buddies. All right, just calm down. You know what? That's why I never said a word about it, because I knew you'd just pull one of your hairy fits and you'd get all whacked out of joint about the whole thing. I'm not <laughs> whacked out of joint. Why would I be? I'm having a nice romantic dinner tonight with Vicky. Uh, you, you mean Peggy, right? That's what I said. No, no, no. You, you said Vicky. These ears don't miss much. I've seen him swallow Q-tips whole. <laughs> I said Peggy. Well, listen here, Carl. None are so blind as those who cannot see themselves. <laughs> you know, Carl, it's been one year since your divorce. It's perfectly natural that you still have feelings for Vicky and be in denial about those feelings. You know, it actually gives me a good idea for a topic for our group session tonight at the bowling alley. But you said you were going bowling. Yeah, we are. But after we bowl, we meet in the pro shop for an hour and have group therapy. We call it Feelings to Spare. <laughs> you should come and join us, Carl. I do not need to be analyzed by a pathetic bunch of dysfunctional bowlers. Hey, we're not pathetic. We're, we're league champions trying to be life champions. That's right. Hi, right. Hey, Simon. You ready? Yeah, just about. Mm. <laughs> so, Carl, the offer still stands. Come for the bowling, stay for a cry. No, Simon, go. <laughs> One year since his divorce, Ray. Still can't come to terms with his feelings, huh? You listen to your brother. That man saved my life. Oh, no, Ray, you saved your own life. He taught me how to get in touch with my feminine side. 
and how to pick up a 710 split. Oh, <laughs> oh, all right, guys, take it outside, huh? The sock's going on the knob. Let's go. Oh, are you sure you're okay? Simon, I'm fine. Okay, so you don't mind that I'm having lunch with Vicky on Monday? Simon, you have lunch with her seven days a week for all I care. Don't you smart mouth your brother. <laughs> don't worry, Ray. It's just his feelings are still jammed in the ball return. There are none so deaf as he who will not hear himself. <laughs> It was so great to meet you. Oh. Oh. Indeed. I must say, Carl showed terrible judgment in letting someone like you go. Oh. Perhaps I should let him go. <laughs> oh. After hearing so much about you guys from Simon, it's so great to finally put the names with the faces. Oh, I know. Same here. And you're just this regular person. From Carl's description, I thought you were... Um, gonna be a, uh, okay, yeah. well, how do I put this? Mm. Kind of like horrible, oh. kind of snakes in my hair and bats flying out of my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the usual classic number eight, you dumped him, bats in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Carl still got a lot of hostility. Yeah. Maybe I should go. No, 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 come on, Vicky, look, mm. Carl assures me he's over all this nonsense. Now, now, there he is right there. Let's just say hi to him, huh? Carl, Vicky's here. Come and say hi. Carl? Carl! <laughs> hey, Vic! Hi, oh, Carl. Oh, my word. Well, Carl, you okay? Why is that vein throbbing in your neck? Oh, uh, oh, that's the, uh, that's the Vicky vein. Stress-related. I lived with that vein for four years. <laughs> oh, now, come on. We, we were all bowlers on the same team once. Now, now, let's reset our emotions and have a big uh, pin pals hug, huh? Oh, oh well, I just, I don't know. Oh, ah. Uh. Okay, baby steps there. Um. <laughs> Uh, Carl, yes. I, I just want to thank you for being so cool about me still being friends with Simon. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's no big deal, you know. We're all adults, no sense holding grudges. Great. <laughs> See, you're keeping the weight off. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, shaving every day yet? <laughs> yeah. You? Uh, okay, yeah, round's over. Everybody back to their corners. Yeah, right. Um, I have to get back to work anyhow, so... Okay, okay. sis. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. oh. Bye, you guys! Oh, bye. Yay. It was so nice. Thank, Thank you, too. Hey. Wow! She is fabu. <laughs> What's the matter? Weren't you man enough to keep her? Lola, shut up. <laughs> yes, Carl, the former Mrs. Himple is a delight. It doesn't bother you to see her. No, nope, not at all. Well, you're a bigger man than I am. <laughs> I remember in my youth, on, while on holiday, I met a Scottish lass. Oh. She was the innkeeper's daughter and fair as a spring morn, and I was in love. <laughs> till one fateful day when I caught her. You know, fill-a-dibbling about with the stable boy. <laughs> Well, in a fit of jealous rage, I reported her to her father, who, on my suggestion, sent poor Mary to a nunnery, and then horsewhipped the young man well into the night. Ah, uh, love. <laughs> hey, boy, Carl, you sure missed a great lunch. Yeah, so I gather. You know, I cannot believe that I like Vicky so much. I usually go out with girls who... Okay, how do I put this nicely? Can't get the hang of Velcro? <laughs> Why did you bring her here? Well, you said it would be all right if I saw her. You said it wouldn't bother you. Yeah, well, I lied. It does bother me. Well, all right. From now on, I'll arrange to meet her downstairs. No, no, no. I mean, really bothers me. Simon, you can't see her anywhere, anymore, at all, ever. Uh-uh. Oh, wait a second. That's not fair. Yeah? Well, what about my health? What about the Vicky vein, huh? I want her gone, Simon, out of my life. And to be out of my life, she's got to be out of yours. Now, wait a second. She's one of my best friends. In fact, she's on our team. She's the treasurer. Yeah, well, I'm your brother, Simon, if you love me. Oh, no, no, don't start with that stuff. That's lower than the swamp grass at the bottom of Lake Okeechokee, Flinny Likey Oki. <laughs> well, I don't care, all right? You're gonna have to pick Vicky 
or me. Okay. Yep. Okay. Great. This is what we'll do. We'll go over to her place later on. And I'll just tell her why my mean brother won't let me be friends with her. Except, you know what? You're coming with me. No way. <laughs> we'll go over there and you can sit down and you can look her right in the eye and explain this whole thing to her. Fine. Whatever gets this done. All right, I'm warning you, though. If this thing snaps, it's gonna shoot my head off like a bottle rocket. Come <laughs> on, oh, I'm freezing out here. Why don't we just wait inside? I'm sure she won't mind. <laughs> you have a key? Well, yeah, how else do you think I get into water of plants when she goes out of town? <laughs> Vicky, are you home? Oh, hey, Simon, I'm drying my hair. I'll be down in a minute. Right. Oh, my God. What happened here? It's totally changed. Well, after you moved out, you know, Vicky was a little depressed, so uh, I suggested she redecorate, you know, have a fresh start. I kind of like it. <laughs> this is all your idea? Well, she did the drapes. I'm sorry, it's like I never even lived here. Was I so horrible that I had to be completely erased from her life? No, it was more of a decorating choice. You know, your modern themes kind of clashed with the country motif we were going for. You're killing me, you know that. Carl, what the hell are you doing in my house? Your house? Might I remind you that I paid for nearly every... Whoa. You look nice. Well, thank you, Carl. Hey, Simon. Hey, Vic. Listen, you guys, I'm in a rush, so... Well, listen, Carl has something he really wants to tell you, so... Well, it's gonna have to wait, cuz that's my date. <laughs> date? What, what, what do you mean, date? Well, that's pretty much the standard definition. You know, it starts with dinner, maybe a movie, yeah, Simon. sometimes dancing. You know. <laughs> Vicky, you look good enough to eat... Yuck! Pimples. <laughs> hey, Mitch. Lowen? Uh... Bye, guys. Back up when you leave. Mitch and Vicky? Vicky and Mitch the Lowens? Vicky and Mitch the Lowens? Okay, now hold on. Your eyes are starting to bulge out like Garfield the cat for crying out loud. I'm gonna go get some ice. That Vicky vein's about to blow. <laughs> Vicky and Mitch, Mitch and Vicky, Vicky and Mitch and Mitch and Vicky. Carl, cut it out. You're gonna hyperventilate oh. for crying out loud. Come on, try try putting your head between your knees and breathe there. Come on, do it. I mean, you don't get it. My marriage is over. What, that thought never occurred to you when the divorce paper showed up? <laughs> Simon, I am not over her. Well, you said you were. Yeah, well, I was wrong. I, I'm still in love with her, and I can't live without her. Every moment that I'm not with her is wasted. Every second that I'm not with her is pain, Simon. Well, you certainly didn't love her that much on your wedding day. <laughs> well, I was a child then. I get it now. I'll do anything to get her back, Simon. Well, what makes you think for one second that she wants you back? This. What do you call this? A doorstop? Uh-huh. This is the doorstop that we got on our honeymoon in Paris, remember? She kept this so that every time she looked at it, it would remind her of me. That or to keep the door from swinging shut. Yeah, on our love. Simon, she kept this so that every time she looked at it, it would remind her of what we once were. Unhappy? No, passionate. Ah, passionately unhappy. No, passionately intense. Oh, come on, Carl. Look at the old photo albums. I'll show you a few examples of passionately intense. Throwing birthday cake at each other at Grandma's 80th. The big ham bone battle at Easter. What about the holy water fight at Cousin Eddie's baptism? She kept the photo albums? They're downstairs in the basement. Oh, Simon. Oh! She still loves me. She never fixed the stairs. Well, Mitch, that was fun. Gosh, it's hard to believe it's already, whoa, 8.30. You know, it is a uh, work night for me, but I guess I could come in for a quick nightcap. Or two. All right, Mitch. 
Go ahead and pour yourself one quick drink, and then you've really got to go. Got a very early day tomorrow, and I've got to get to bed. No problemo. I hear you loud and clear. Uh-huh. I will be down in a minute. I've got to get out of these clothes. Oh. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> There you are. I was getting lonely. Mitch, you're in your underwear. Come here. No, no. Not only am I not coming over there, I'm having that couch sandblasted. You're getting over a marriage. Let me be that transitional relationship that gets you ready for a real one. Use me. I am your rebound guy. I am your candy man, and I think you know. The candy man can. Uh, I think I heard you. I was down. Mitch! Carl! I'll kill you! Hey! No! No! Wake up! Wake up! Carl! Carl! What is going on here? I will tell you what is going on here. Everybody is leaving. And she means both of you. No, I mean all of you. Out. That's fine with me, because frankly, I'm not in the mood anymore. <laughs> Vicky, I promise you, we will finish this another time. No, 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 Mitch. We will finish this right now. Go away and never call me. Vicky, I'm sorry, but I saw you with that half-naked, half-man, and I... I want an explanation. I don't have to explain anything to you. This is my house. And the only conversation I want to have with you is the one we had a year ago. Get out of my life. I can't. I still love you. Well, then quit it. Oh, hey, everybody. I, I think it's time for a little bit of group therapy, Vicky. Uh, you know, let's, let's just sit down, relax. We'll, we'll talk this through like, like rational... Bowlers. Huh? <laughs> That's all I'm asking. Simon. Uh, look, Vicky, if you won't do this for Carl, just do it for me, please, huh? Come on. Now, that's better. Vicky, I I'm sure you have some questions for Carl. Yes, I do. Why are you still here? <laughs> all right, I'll handle this, Carl. Listen, Vicky, I brought him over here because he wants us to end our friendship together. You jerk! Where do you get off picking my friends? Well, now, uh, you see, I don't feel that way anymore because now I realize the only reason you stayed friends with Simon was to remain connected with me. Oh, you are nuts. You are... Now, wait, well, Vicky! Well, 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 he's not nuts. He's nuts. He's just hurting, and because he's hurting, you know, he gets a little confused. No, no, I, I'm not confused, Simon. I know exactly the way I feel. Vicky, I have an idea. Let's get back together. Carl, I want you out of my life. Oh. oh, okay, now, now that's okay. Uh, Carl, you're obviously experiencing a bit of denial here, and, and Vicky, you're obviously still hurting. I but am even... not. Shut up. Okay, now that's what we call in uh, feelings to spare throwing gutter balls. You know, it takes just as much energy and nobody gets any points. Look, <laughs> do you think this is fun, Vicky? It kills me that I'm still in love with you. You are not still in love with me. Well, then what is this? I don't know, but it's driving me crazy. Look, me I'll, I'll tell you what it is, everyone. Come on, sit, 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 please, sit. Now, I'm sure you're all familiar with Ralph Cramden and his wife, Alice, <laughs> one of TV's most beloved couples. And you know how Alice had to put up with all kind of hijinks from Ralph? Well, in the end, they always made up. 
And the same could be said for, for the Ricardos, Lucy and Ricky, you know. She used to get him so uptight that he'd start speaking in tongues. <laughs> but in the end, they always made it better. So, do you, do you see what I'm saying here? Oh, good, good. It, it's, it's like Ralph and, and Alice, they belong together, and, and Lucy needs to be with Ricky. But you get Ralph with Lucy, and, and that's a show nobody wants to see. <laughs> He's right. And yeah. we were miserable. We, well, not all the time. But enough. It's not that, that, that you're not great people. You are great people, but you're just not great, you know, together. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> I'm sorry I yelled, Ralph. <laughs> uh, that's okay, Lucy. Uh, I guess I got a little uh, out of hand myself. What was I thinking? <laughs> what? And what were you thinking, too, with Mitch Lowen? I mean, is your taste <laughs> like... Excuse me, but we are all allowed a few mistakes. I think you've made that quite guy, a few though? Yourself. Please. I'm sure Looks you like have. Curious George. Oh, 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 Let's not get the uh, flames flickering again. I, I think what we all came here to accomplish, we've done. Uh, I'm asking you, Carl, if it's okay to remain friends with Vicky. And... Oh, uh, sure. Why not? That's fine. Well, there you go. Rational bowlers. Mm -hmm. And what do rational bowlers do at their therapy sessions? They stand up, they embrace, and they have a big old bowlers group hug, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vicky, are they gone? <laughs> well, uh, today's topic is heartbreak. Uh, Getting over our relationships. I, I think Carl had a recent experience he'd like to share. Yeah, I, thank you. Actually, I, I do. All right, well, then the lane is yours. Show him the turkey. Thank you. Um, <laughs> when I was in eighth grade, my younger brother Simon was in love with a girl named Dana Newberg. And um, I had to. Oh, go with the Dana vein. Oh, no. ah! Ray, get some ah! ice. Get some ice. Ah! Oh, okay. In front. <laughs> 